Welcome back to those where the main headlines and more details. President Abdel Fattah Sisi returned back home after a one-day visit to Abu Dhabi where he offered his condolences over the death of President of the UAE, Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed al Nahyan, who died on Friday at the age of 73. Earlier, President uh, Sisi mourned the death of the Emirati leader, saying he sincerely loved Egypt and was a loyal friend in all circumstances. Furthermore, Egypt declared a three-day mourning period in honor of the departed. The UAE also announced a 40-day mourning period nationwide starting Friday. Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed al Nahyan served as the second president of the UAE and the 16th ruler of Abu Dhabi since 2004. The scheme as rulers in the United Arab Emirates unanimously appointed Abu Dhabi Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed al Nahyan as the nation's president, signaling both unity and stability in this key country. Details. The United Arab Emirates Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed al Nahyan was elected president of the Gulf Arab state by a federal Supreme Council on Saturday, solidifying his rule over the OPEC oil producer and key regional player. The Council, which groups the rulers of the seven Emirates of the UAE Federation, elected Sheikh Mohammed a day after the death of his half-brother, President Khalifa bin Zayed, who was also ruler of Abu Dhabi. Dubai ruler Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, who is also UAE Vice President and Premier, said in a Twitter post, we congratulate him and pledge allegiance to him as do our people and the entire country will follow his leadership to glory. Bin Rashid described Bin Zayed's assumption of the responsibility of the presidency represents a new historical era and a new birth. The transition of power marks only the third time the country of seven sheikhdoms has selected a president since becoming an independent nation in 1971. The state-run WAM news agency described the vote at Al Mushrif Palace in Abu Dhabi as unanimous among the rulers of the country, which includes the skyscraper-studded city of Dubai. Sheikh Zayed, whose name graces a major highway linking the Emirates and whose face appears everywhere in the nation, widely remains viewed as the country's founding father. The UAE as a whole is observing a three-day mourning period, which will see businesses shut across the country and performances halted in Sheikh Khalifa's honor. Electronic billboards all showed the late Sheikh's image in Dubai on Friday night as flags flew at half-staff. A wider mourning period of 40 days will go on beyond that. President Abdel Fattah Sisi and Oman Sultan were among the first leaders to visit Sheikh Mohammed on Saturday. Others are expected in the coming days, including French President Emmanuel Macron on Sunday. Meanwhile, President Al Fatah Sisi extended his best wishes to Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan after the latter's appointment as the President of the United Arab Emirates. The President congratulated bin Zayed on the full trust of the Emirati people and wished the brotherly nation a new era of welfare and prosperity under his leadership. Prime Minister Dr. Mustafa Madoui returned back home, wrapping up his visit to Tunisia, where he met with Tunisian President Qais Saeed at Qatar's palace. The meeting discussed ways to boost bilateral relations as well as regional and international files of common concern. The Prime Minister stressed Egypt's full support to Tunisia's reforms on the political and constitutional path. For his part, Saeed expressed his appreciation to the deeply rooted ties that bind Egypt and Tunisia, asserting that his country will never forget Egypt's full support in the time of crises. The Tunisian president stated that his country is keen to boost mutual cooperation with Egypt in all domains. Earlier, the 17th Egyptian-Tunisian High Committee meetings kicked off under the chairmanship of both Prime Minister Dr. Mustafa Madbouli and his Tunisian counterpart Najla Boudin. Madbouli and Boudin held a press conference highlighting the success of the forum and the signing of a number of memos of understanding to enhance uh, cooperation in cybersecurity, smart healthcare services and several economic fields. 
Ministry of Defense and Military Production Mohammed, uh, Lieutenant General Mohammed Zaki, received visiting uh, Chad uh, Minister Lieutenant General Dawood Yahya Ibrahim to preside over the Council of Nation Defense, uh, Veteran Fighters, and War Victims as the official reception was held for the high ranking guests at the headquarters of the Defense Ministry. The meeting tackled regional and international developments and their repercussions on the security and stability in Africa in light of the current challenges as well as discussing ways of boosting cooperation in the military and security fields. Zaki, the general commander of the armed forces, hailed the strategic ties that bind the armed forces of Egypt and Chad, stressing the importance of coordinating efforts between the two sides in different domains. For his part, the Chadian minister expressed his gratitude to the Egyptian stance of supporting the African cause to instill security and stability in the continent and meet the aspirations of the African peoples. The meeting was attended by Army Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Osama Askar. Back home, the Ministry of Interior resumed its campaigns to control prices of strategic commodities and arrest traders accused of hiding goods with the aim of overpricing. The campaigns resulting in recording 340 supply cases and confiscating 43 tons of food and non-food commodities in the past 24 hours. The campaigns, meanwhile, targeted those behind manipulating wheat delivery scheme as 444 tons of local wheat were also seized.